welcome back to my channel and today we are looking at the Shane and Jeffrey launch. So I hope everyone's doing really well uh, and I hope everyone's having a good day or week or whatever day I end up getting this uploaded. Um, I'm so excited for this, I mean I think everyone who's a fan of Jeffrey or Shane was for this launch. Um, as all of you know, Jeffrey and Shane basically broke the internet when the launch happened. I think Beauty Bay literally, um, I think they were down two minutes before launch. Um, I think Morphe wasn't doing too well either and the whole Jeffree Star website was just not working. <laughs> it's just so many things happened during that day and it was just crazy. Luckily I had my boyfriend who waited two hours for Beauty Bay to finally be back up and ready so we could check out because he tried checking out for literally two hours and refreshed it for two hours. Why I was at work by the way so I was very lucky so to have this it's I'm very lucky to have it. So I'm opening it now. Um, finally uh, my boyfriend looked make sure everything was you know intact and nothing was broken for the video and just for me in general and I was so excited for this like I never I knew this launch was going to be big and I wish Shane had more I know confidence in himself thinking it wasn't going to sell he's going to let everyone down but I don't think he has and he would never let anyone down <laughs> so well I'm already oh my god so this is everything that I see at the moment. The bag is massive, I don't think it's going to be that big. So I'm going to be showing you everything I got in the box, including the large conspiracy palette. And I'm ashamed because I bought the mini palette off of Morphe and they've only just dispatched it. So if you like this video, when I try on the makeup at the end, uh, there'll be a separate video just for the um, the mini controversy palette too. So I'm going to pull out the bag first. This is the bag. It looks really big actually. I've never had a um, Jeffree Star or well, this point, a Shane Dawson bag. I really wanted to get the mint green one in its summer collection, whatever it is. So this is what it looks like. I actually love this. The quality is so lovely. Um, there's some pigs there. Sorry, the sun's there. Some pigs and well, even in the leather or the fake leather, it also has the um, pigs and the uh, Jeffree Star logo. In the Jeffree Star logo. I'm going to open it up now. The zips work really well. Um, let's get this out. So this is the inside. We'll do one of those things. So I really like this because you have pouches here. You can put stuff in and you also have this zip as well which you can put stuff in. And this is only £30 and I'm surprised because the makeup bag which you can get, that was uh, more money. So this was 30 and I think the makeup bag was 40 I'm not sure. So that's the bag. I just closed my curtain because it's really hard to show you like the bag. So I'm just going to show you again which you can see a lot more easier now. In the bag and everything. And it has the peaks here. And I'm going to peel off that bit as well. So, these. So, yeah, this is the first thing. Right, so next is the mirror. I bought the uh, black pig mirror. So, um, this is actually meant to be a Christmas present for me. So, I won't actually able to use this until Christmas, but I'm going to show you anyway. Oh, this looks amazing. Look, that is absolutely really big. I mean, that's bigger than normal uh, Jeffree Star mirror. So, that's just crazy. I mean, it's bigger than my head. <laughs> and the mirror is so big, like, yeah, that is so useful and it's absolutely beautiful and I can't, I can't wait till I can actually open it up on Christmas. I'm so excited. Oh, I really love that mirror. I highly recommend it. Even though, in a, some sense, I would have liked the pink one, but I think the black one's more me. 
so yeah and even like the whole packaging in itself with the static of the TV which I think is on the mini controversy palette but yeah and it has both their logos and it's great so now we move on to the final product which I'm really happy for and this is the conspiracy palette oh my god it's so good and it's really weighty so oh, I've been waiting for this so long oh my god it looks so good Oh, that is actually amazing. Look at that out gently. So this is the palette. It's such amazing quality. I can't believe, like, how I know it was going to be good, but I didn't know realize it was going to be this good. I mean, even the packaging itself just looks amazing, and I have like it kind of like goes upwards into the triangle with his logo in it which is great and it's the same sort of um like open up as the blood sugar and blue blood palette so cool oh, i'm opening it up now it's great <laughs> oh my god this is amazing like i it's like meeting a celebrity almost because you've seen all these pictures and seen like everyone's watching it when they're actually having it with me in person and to actually keep it it's another feeling altogether and it's absolutely beautiful I mean even Trisha I'm not a big fan of the pink shades but that's that's an amazing pink I also like food videos um not a fact that's a really nice purple um what else do I like Tenacon if that's a great name not so much the color it's not so much me but I love it. Uh, just a theory. Um, my ride's here and it has like a little picture of a car wheel. So yeah, this is this is absolutely beautiful. I can't ask for a better palette. I don't think. I mean, no, I can't. <laughs> so now that I've opened it up, I'm actually going to. Uh, Take, take some of these colours and put it on my eyes. I've already uh, primed them, but when I watched a Sos video, she did actually use it, use the um, colours with a wet concealer. So I went to buy this uh, Revolution one last night, and I didn't know what site, what colour I was, and I was in a bit of a rush. I kind of picked up the first one that might be my colour. So I'm going to use the Jeffree Stars um, Morphe. Morphe launch and I've got some brushes here that I can use so I'm just going to pick out a few that I might end up using for this I haven't even used them yet so this is just the perfect palette to use them with so yeah I also like to feel what what did you like think about this palette like did you like it did you not um leave, leave all your thoughts down in the comments I'd love to know because this is amazing so I'm going to do like a really but I'm using all like the um, hot colors in here so I'm going to use food videos cheese dust and flaming hot probably I might use uh, one of the neutral shades for um, my top lid but we we'll just see how we go for some of this because honestly I'm just gonna make it up as I go along but why not <laughs> So I've never used concealer as like a, I guess a primer before, so I don't know how this is actually going to turn out and it's, as it's the first time doing it on camera, I don't know how well that's going to go. <laughs> but Soph did it and I want to try it to see if it works just as well for me. I don't think I did a bad job at matching the... Um, actually right so I'm going to take this brush and I think it has oh, this is a JS 10 and I'm gonna dip into food videos I'll show you here and I'm just gonna work it in to the corners of my eyes and maybe stop around there or so Okay, so it's very pigmented. That's a good start. 
I'm actually going to use uh, my Jeffree Star mirror to get a better look. So I just finished putting on uh, food videos. Um, I have kind of like packed on a lot, but it's very vibrant. I do like it. It's slightly patchy in some places, but I don't know if that's because the concealer kind of like dried up before I was able to get it all on my eyelid. So just, just curl it down there onto my lower lashes too. Right, next we are going to use this brush, which is the JS12. And we're going to dip into cheese dust, which has a very lovely picture of the pig on it, which is great. So I'm just going to put this in the middle of my eyes. I'm kind of blend it into food videos. Can I just say how well these colours are? They are amazing quality and they blend like like no effort needed it is so good to work these colors right so now that cheese dust is on my eyes I'm now going to go in with the JS13 which is this size brush and we're going to go in with Flaming Hot which just has a normal picture of the Jeffree Star logo and I'm going to put this on the very ends of my that don't yet have any colour and blend into cheese dust. To be fair, what I would have liked with the orange instead of cheese dust, I would have liked if they actually named it off of their cat, like um, with like Cheeto. But then I feel like they would need a colour for honey and you know all the other pets that they have. So as you can see is blended out really nicely between all the colours. Um, this is actually maybe the best palette I've ever had. I mean I really like Jeffree Star's Alien palette which I really want to do a video on even though it's quite, um, I say old news now but I still really like it and the colours in that one is also very different, you know, with all the greens and stuff. Yeah so I can't say again how pigmented these colours are I mean I'm actually like so surprised on how well these worked I mean the only palette I have actually had trouble with from Jeffree Star is for some reason is the blood sugar palette for some reason for the life of me I just can't get them to blend I can't get them to be blotchy I don't know if I got like a bad batch or something but for some reason it just doesn't work for me and I'm really upset because I really wanted that palette for a long time so and then for the UK we can only like order stuff in usually from Jeffree Star Cosmetics but I only know like one Morphe store that's near me which is in London and even that that's like a 40 minute drive maybe so I'm just going over what I've just done like just to make sure I've got the most amount of coverage with the colour and the most vibrant of colour that I can get and just to make sure that it's all evenly coated on my eyelids. See, so that's the colours that I used. I really love this, I mean it works like so good. I'm actually going to take another brush quickly. Let's take this one which is the JS6, which looks like this. And I'm going to go in with Tanacom. Oh, that's very, that one I say is just a very, very um, dusty. I'm just going to put that on the outside just to blend it all in with the rest of my eyelid, just so it just goes in nicely with my normal skin tone. It's as the eyes done, and I really like how they came out. I will in a minute just put on all my um, eye makeup separately, so you can see as it has a full look. And I will do uh, another video involving with the mini controversy palette. So once again, I'd just like to quickly show you this palette. Um, I'm actually gonna swatch um, Trisha just so I can see what it looks like because it is very sparkly. 
wow see that has the most biggest pigment like ever i mean like i said i don't usually like pink that much but the glitter and shimmer in that it's just to die for and i was going to go in with diet cola because that also seems like the same sort of metallic oh my god that literally went on like butter that's amazing that's like the best silver i've ever had in any palette like i actually kept this it's very old and it's a, a um, benefit um uh, eyeshadow and i've actually just kept it for this one single um silver shade because i love it and never got it in any other palette but i can throw it away now because i have this one <laughs> and oh god guys i can't believe how good this is i highly recommend it i know loads of people unfortunately did miss out on this and now they're selling on ebay for a stupid amount of money and for if i were you just save your money it's not worth spending well like triple the price for it if they will do another restock i mean even jeffrey started himself they're gonna make it for as long as they can as long as they're not gonna make profit on it they're gonna make it anyway so once again this is the conspiracy palette absolutely amazing and i can't wait till the mini palette comes and i'm gonna do a separate video that all on its own with some of the other brushes that i've got by the way i didn't actually mention it how good these brushes actually are i do recommend it i mean i think that was 45 pound for them along with this as well i think this was 48 on the beauty bay and the mirror was i think that was 20 or 30 I'm not sure. I'm going to have to ask my boyfriend. But other than that, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to quickly put on my makeup and I will do the outro for you. So this is the finished look. I've put on my eyeliner, which I just used a normal Rimmel London. Uh, the mascara was a Benefit Bang Mascara. Now I used one of the reds from uh, this Jeffree Star launch. I don't know where Wifey's gone and I'm really confused because I did use that on a previous video and... I can't remember where to put it. So my thoughts on this, I think it is an amazing palette. I will highly recommend you getting this if you can. I mean, I know it is difficult at the moment considering as everyone wants this palette at the moment. We'll see, there is a lot of people who are lucky enough to get it on launch day. And then some people have managed to um, get leftovers in store. But other than that, it is sold out absolutely everywhere. It is amazing, the quality is great. Um, I couldn't ask for a better palette. The bag is absolutely wonderful. The pig mirror is great. As everything about this launch is amazing. There was a few things I could, I didn't get during the launch, which was the lipsticks. I was about a bit upset about that, but once again, once there is a restock and they keep continuous bring, well, continuously bringing them out, I will definitely get more and will review them for you. Obviously, by then it'll be a lot older sort of stuff but i still feel like it'd be a good video so yeah this, that's uh, my review guys i hope you enjoyed it and if you like unboxing and makeup please remember to subscribe on your way out and leave a like and i'll see you all in the next video guys so 